teacher tribe welcome back to a brand new week my name is allison jones for those who are new for those who are returning thank you for being a part of the teacher tribe first and foremost your girl just finished her master's degree it's about time <laughs> no i am not going any farther than my master's girl just got a master's degree from Capella University um, online with through FlexPath and I went with this degree because I used to love watching the YouTube teacher um, pocket full of primary and when I started my journey two years ago when I was looking into a master's she was in the process of getting her master's and she gave a lot of information. I did my research. I spoke with somebody at the school and I decided I'm gonna take that route too. So this video is not sponsored, so I'm not gonna to talk too much about it, but Capella's flex path is really on your own pace. I know a lot of other universities do that too, but I didn't know about it until I, I started with Capella. But so flex path is like you, you'll be put in a, in a class you have one assignment. Well, most of them is one assignment at a time, except for like the first and like the last two or three. So each class has one assignment, whether it be a research paper, a PowerPoint presentation, whatever it may be, and you set your due dates. And you can take as many classes over the time frame. So it, it does work out to be cheaper. So if I'm in a class, say I'm in a class today, I started the class today, I see what my assignment is, and if I do the whole class or the whole assignment today, it, and it gets graded by tomorrow, I complete the course, the next day, they put me in my next class. Like, it, everything moves on your pace. So I really like that. So when I'm stressed out here and I go home, I could choose to work on my homework a little bit, or I can just do nothing and push it off for as long as I need to. So I really like doing FlexPath. Um, I finished it in about two years because I started in January 2020 and we're now May 2022. But I took off three months when I was in the house hunting stages last school year or last year. Yeah, last year this time I took off three months. So I'm going to technically say I took two years to do my master's. So I'm happy I'm done. The only thing now is I have to wait to see when they're having a next commencement because it's an online school. I have to see when and where they're having graduation. So, <sighs> yay. Okay, today. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Today is <laughs> Monday, May 9th, and it's dismissal time. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So today was a decent day. It is after four, so I barely like remembered to come and record. But I had all 22 kids today. My friend over here um, did really good today. Well, let me not say really good because there was a moment where he just, everything was wrong. He couldn't do his work because of all these excuses, but he eventually got his stuff together. So it was a good day ultimately. Um, the drama for today. So that parent, or remember I told you on Friday, check out last video, Friday was I day for ice cream. And I spent my money to get ice cream sandwiches for my students. And I told you three students were misbehaving and I had them explain to me, tell me why they deserve to get this ice cream because of the way they were behaving. Three of them, three boys. All three of them explained to me that they didn't deserve it and what they're going to do, or they explain to me why they didn't deserve it. Then they explain to me what they're going to change so they can get their ice cream. All three of them. I didn't see any harm with that because they still got their ice cream. Apparently, that evening, one of the boys, who's the same mother I've been complaining to you all about, I've, I've, well, a few times I've complained to you about this parent. And she messages me, I didn't see it until this morning, she messages me saying, so today was I day and you asked that friend if, if why he deserved to be, to get the ice cream or whatever. And then I don't have it in front of me. I can't read it word for word because I already shut my computer down. But um, she said along the lines of, 
I'm using small opportunities to show my power over her child and that's what's going to cause a problem and then she goes on to saying so since we this has been an ongoing issue she's going to report the issue to the superintendent i'm not gonna lie when i read it i kind of chuckled to myself because i did nothing wrong <laughs> i didn't have to give her child an ice cream i used my money to give him an ice cream and me asking him why he deserved it is literally having him take responsibility for his actions. He still got his ice cream, as it did the whole class, as did the other two boys after they explained to me why they didn't deserve an ice cream and what was going to change. It's not like I singled him out. So I kind of chuckled to myself and then I responded to her, no problem. And I went ahead and I told her he wasn't the only one who I asked that question to, but. I made sure I CYA and I told the principal of the situation and the principal's not stressing it, so I'm not stressing it. But anywho, yeah, today was a regular schmegular day. We caught up from Friday because, you know, we didn't do anything Friday. And that's it. <laughs> today was a good day ultimately. And we're going to leave it alone. So I will see you all tomorrow for Tuesday. Bye, Teacher Tribe. Hi, Teacher Tribe. Happy Tuesday. So excuse the hair, because I just came from dismissal. It is dismissal time. Remember to take a breath. Today is Tuesday, May 10th, and I am starting standing up so you could see my tourist outfit. So today for the teacher appreciation week from the school, today is tourist day. So I got on my visor, a little Hawaiian, it's tourist slash beach day. My shirt. Fanny pack, capris, and shoes. So this is my tourist outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and we will chit chat. All right, teacher tribe. So I don't know if this has been like this all day, curly hair problems, or if it's just been like that since dismissal. Anywho, I'm not gonna take this off. It's, it's hot, <laughs> or I'm hot and this is not, all that helping but anywho today was a good day we had reading this morning and for reading we read a story called up up and away for phonics and we found the possessive noun words because that's what we're dealing with for this week we did that as a class we did our blueprint we did some text evidence questions we accomplished reading today check then for can't think about what we did at the end of the day. I don't know why. So I was reading after resource, which we had PE today. We came back and we did writing and I had them finish telling me their jokes. So yesterday was J for joke day and they had a bunch of jokes, but we didn't have much time to share. So I said, all right, save them for tomorrow. So tomorrow, well, today, I let them finish telling me their jokes. So during writing time, that's what we did or before writing time, I let them share their jokes, get all the funnies out of our system. Then we went to um, Horizons. And then after Horizons, we went to our writing. So our writing was brainstorming what we're going to do for our acoustic poem. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't quote me on that. But we did their planning guide and coming up with different ideas and different topics for them to write their poems on. Content was a simple video. We're starting to do science again for motion and force and motion. So we just watched a little video, an overview per se, of what is motion, who is Isaac Newton, what are his three laws and things of that nature and had a brief discussion. Jumped into math. Today we played a math game with tiles where we had to roll dice and it will give us the multiplication equation that they had to use the tiles to make. So I would roll one die, it'll tell me four. I roll another die, it'll tell me three. So they had to show me with the tiles, four rows with three tiles in each row, how many, what's the equation, four times three. And then they have to do it with the tiles and then give me an answer. So we're starting to get ready to do third grade math. That didn't take long. <laughs> I'm trying to like piece together everything that happened today and I keep, it keeps bothering me when I keep looking at my hair. But it's all good. Cause if I really was at the beach or something, I really wouldn't care. 
um yeah so after we did the dye um i told them well they knew uh, that they're slacking grades in math so i decided to start pulling things so i gave them two worksheets today that are both going to be graded and we had a brief review on the board before i gave them the worksheets just to kind of refresh their memory as to what it is they're about to do then they did the worksheets um my team lead had to leave today she's out a lot but she left a little early because she had a doctor's appointment i guess and there's no sub to cover her so we had to split her class so i got four friends in the room so they were in here while my kids were doing math and then at the end of the day we played four corners and i had her kiddos join mine so really a regular day just they thought it was more fun because i was dressed up so tomorrow for the dress up is a little mermaid character if i remember correctly yeah tomorrow's wednesday so yes so tomorrow's a little mermaid character i have a white little mermaid shirt with some leggings that are like they're very um luminescent no that's not the word i'm looking for I don't remember how to, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but they look like a, a mermaid's tail. So I'm kind of dressing up like a little mermaid. So I have a little mermaid t-shirt with leggings that go with the shirt, or they look like they go with the shirt. Um, so I'm dressing up like a mermaid, long story short. And then I'll be in white sandals to go with it. So that's tomorrow. Thursday, um, I'm going to try and record in the morning because I'm leaving early for a dentist appointment. So, you know, I got to drive down to Broward. And then there's a sailor day. So I'm not gonna say anything about my sailor outfit. If I can record in the morning, hopefully I can. Hopefully I don't have anything keeping me that morning. So I can record and at least show you the sailor's outfit. Um, I don't have an actual costume. I did a makeshift outfit. So I bought these pants that had buttons that kind of look like sailor pants. And then I have a black and white striped nautical type shirt that's what i was more going for the nautical not really sailor and then i have a captain's hat so my version of makeshift for sailors because the sailors costumes i was finding on amazon were not school appropriate and then friday is pirates day i'm going all out for pirates day i have a full-blown pirates costume and i have brown boots that will go with the costume so i'm excited i just don't have a sword but i have that belt that goes across my body and then they have the, the little headpiece so I'm excited for Friday. Well, I'm always excited for Friday, but dress up days are just more fun. So yes, oh, yesterday, by the way, I forgot to show my shirt, but yesterday was dressed like a, um, a sea animal and I had on a turtle shirt. It was basic, but I forgot to show it to you. So, all right, teacher tribe, that's it for today. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Hello, teacher tribe. Happy hump day Wednesday. So today is Wednesday, May 11th, and it's dismissal time. Remember to take a breath. So I had to start off standing up so I can show you my mermaid attire with my scales, my white sandals, and my mermaid shirt. So I'm a mermaid today. All right, I'll be right back. All right, teacher tribe. So honestly, I'm gonna make this quick and short because it is almost five o'clock because my awesome team lead was in my room. And I've told you multiple times how she loves to talk, but it was actually a good conversation. We got a lot discussed and I'm gonna help her, I guess, run tomorrow's team meeting. So it was productive. <laughs> it was productive this time. Anywho, um, we're almost to the end of the ballpark. Today was L day, tomorrow is M. And I already told you tomorrow I am leaving half a day. So I'm gonna try to remember to call to record tomorrow morning, but it's looking very slim because um, I have some stuff I have to do and speak with some people in the morning. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. If not, you'll definitely see me on Friday. Um, what I have to tell you, I'm like trying to rush so I can get out of here. So I have everything ready for the sub. Um, I have everything ready for tomorrow morning. They're taking their unit, not unit test, their weekly test tomorrow. Speaking of unit tests, I told you I was against 
taking the unit test. My team lead is insisting and she's getting it approved by our um, assistant principal. And if that's the case and it's approved, the whole team has to take the unit test. Whether it be a grade or not though, would be up to us. My grades are practically done. So we might do that in another week or two. So we're gonna swap week two weekly tests with the unit test to get that in as a grade. And then the week two weekly test, we just give them to give them. Don't like the sounds of it, but honestly, at this point, I don't care. <laughs> because honestly, like she said, they should know what they're doing at this point. But I just don't wanna keep giving them stuff and it just affects their grade. So if that is the case, if we do have to get it approved and I have to put it in, I just might not grade it because their weekly test that they're doing tomorrow is only 10 questions. I'd rather put that in as a grade over their unit test, which might have 20 something questions and then the writing section. So I, we gotta give it, I'll give it, no problem. Grading it, mm, don't know. Anywho, oh, I just lost my train of thought. But yeah, I really don't have much to update you on because of the fact that everything that we just discussed with her are to come. And I don't want to tell you anything to come. Um, we we're kind of talking a little bit on that surprise that I told you was coming up shortly. We we're talking a little bit about that, even though it's still not confirmed. And I figured my team lead would have known. She still doesn't know herself. So nothing is still confirmed. So it might not even be a surprise. If it's not confirmed, it might not be a surprise. I don't know. Can't say anything, will not say anything until it is confirmed or if it's not confirmed, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm rambling to you guys, but today was a good day. I had all 22 kiddos here today. Um, ooh, drama. That parent that I've been updating you all on, um, she responded to me because I responded to her, I guess, she responds to me in the evening times. I obviously don't look at my class dojo in the evenings. So after the last time we spoke where she said X, Y, and Z about her not caring if he gets a one, and I conf and then she messaged me about the whole ice cream situation and I just said, sure. Or what did I say? I said, no problem when she said she was gonna bring it up to the superintendent. I said, no problem. He wasn't the only person I asked that question to. And then she responds to me. I actually have Dojo right here. I'm going to read these messages. She responds to me saying she didn't ask about any other child. She only asked about her child. And he doesn't need anything from me if he has to jump through hoops to get it. Because she's not up from the game playing because it's clear what I'm doing. Teacher Chai, you see anything I'm doing different? If I'm saying he was, I didn't single him out and I asked other students who were misbehaving the same question that I asked him, what do you really have to tell the superintendent? All they're gonna do is point her to my principal. My principal has spoken to her yesterday when all of this crap was going down. Sorry, when all of this stuff was going down and apparently according to my principal, she didn't wanna hear from my principal. So this morning I said to her, sure, have an amazing day. I know it was very sarcastic, but whatever. She responds this morning, already discussed my concerns with the superintendent. So that was yesterday's conversation, but it was great for you to chime in. Have a great one, hashtag bless up. I again said no problem and I left it alone. This mom, she's hilarious, like honestly, I'm not even stressing this woman anymore because I find the situation to be so funny. She comes to the school in October or she brought him in, in October. The class he started with, he had apparently issues with the teacher and the teacher is like the sweetest woman like on the team. So quiet, humble, very nice. Had problems with her, switched to me in December I had no issues with the lady until the situation with me asking her to bring in headphones for him. Headphones is on the student supply list that you received when you registered your child at this school. 
How is me asking for headphones in March, months after he's been with me, how is that a problem? Anywho, we're going to end this day on a positive note because I'm done talking about this person. I'm not going to talk about her anymore because there's really nothing left for us to say about her. But yes, teacher tribe, I am going to wrap it up here. Fingers crossed I'll get to talk with you all in the morning. And if not, I will see you all on Friday. Bye, teacher tribe. Hi, teacher tribe. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, March 13th, and it's Pirate Day. All right, teacher tribe. So as I said, it's Friday the 13th. Oh, Friday the 13th. Anywho, uh, I'm actually going to try and quick make this quick because it is like pouring outside. So it is dismissal time. Remember to always take a breath. Today was a really good day. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I had 21 out of my 22 kiddos and we accomplished everything I had to accomplish besides finding out that my sub yesterday was really a piece of work so first of all i found out she was 10 minutes late because i left on i left when i had to leave well technically i left five minutes late because nobody was here so they had to put somebody in my room until the sub arrived from what i heard she came 10 minutes late so she came five minutes after i left then she was yelling at my kiddos she made two of my kids cry she did not take them out to recess and they were late to lunch they only had 13 minutes out of their 30 minutes for lunch i know my kids drive me crazy but like i had to report her like how do you not take the kids to lunch it's not like she didn't know when to go my kids told first of all i put all the times on the paper that she had to follow all the times for everything and my kids said they tried to tell her Hey, it's lunchtime or whatever. And she was telling them to sit down. Don't tell me what to do and things like that. I'm like, what? I definitely reported it. That is ridiculous. You can't take the kids lunch away. I take away time from recess all the time. I don't care if they have two minutes of recess. They still get recess. Even if they run around one time, they get the chance to go outside. She didn't take them out for, for recess and they missed half their lunch. That's crazy. So that was a bad thing from yesterday besides that i guess they all acted acted right i guess she didn't leave any notes they did all of the work that they were supposed to do my only downfall is she collected everything when i said to let them keep it after they did it <sighs> anywho mission was accomplished yesterday today mission was accomplished too my outfit was great um i'm not gonna lie i didn't take many pictures this week because it was just so hectic. They had a lot of things for us to do in the morning time. This morning, because we were pirates, we had a scavenger hunt. And oh, let me go and get it and show it to you. So we had little um, things to do. So in the office, that's where our scavenger hunt started. And we had to match up the fact with the teacher or the staff member. And then when that was done, you matched up those, you get step two, and then you get a little um, coin to put in the treasure box. So every time you do something, you have to add a little token to the treasure box. So step one or clue one, you get to take a, a coin, either a silver or gold coin, doesn't matter. Put it in your treasure box. Then you go to step two. Step two was in the cafeteria on the stage. You match up some more facts with the people. Then you get to take a little gems, like jewels, put it in your treasure box. Take, what's the Cheetos name? The cat pirate's booty, the little chips. Take step three, which was in the media center. Go to the media center. I think that was the last step. Do, no, that wasn't the last step. Go to the media center, do up those. She gave you a little keychain, a dolphin keychain, because we're the dolphins. Then there's another step in our principal's office. 
you do up the last set of the clues. And when that is done, you say, um, I, I captain to the principal and then you win. And our win, our prize is these tumblers with our name on it. So our assistant principal is, she's just amazing. She bakes us goodies all the time. And I'm sure she is to blame for most of my my weight gain because she makes baked goodies and I just can't turn them down because they're freaking amazing. She makes these cupcakes. I'm not gonna lie, I took four home so I can snack on them over the weekend. She had two flavors and inside of the cupcake, there's something else. So I think in the peanut butter cupcake, there's peanut butter with white chocolate chips in the middle. With the Oreo, there's a piece of brownie or crushed up Oreos in the middle. It's so good, so good. So there were leftovers, so I went and I took some leftovers so I could take home for my boyfriend and myself. But yes, how cute! So it's our school logo and my name. And these are school colors, by the way, turquoise and or blue and purple or turquoise and purple. So, and then we all got a little treasure chest where we keep our coins with our name on them and the cool, oh, it was a cool morning. So let's just leave it at that, so. It was amazing and then of course we dressed up not a lot of teachers wearing full costume like i am but a lot of teachers did dress up with a little shirt or hair on a bandana or something so it was a good day overall my kiddos were good today um it was name change day in our a to z countdown as you see so today was n um i got the hello my name is stickers ah. Ah. and i dropped it I got the hello my name is stickers and they got to pick a name and that's what I had to call them all day long and it was fun they they got they got really excited with it because some of them one person was named Sonic one person was named Dino King because he loves dinosaurs another friend was Knuckles another one was Tails um, some of them made up well they didn't make up but some of them had these completely different names like Delilah um, one person was Ila Isabella, one person was Daisy, one person took their brother's name, their sibling's name, so they had fun with it. So um, two of them switched names, so it was still kind of confusing <clears throat> to call them by their actual name when I don't mean the person. Oh my gosh, it was fun. It was a good fun Friday. And at the end of the day, of course, we decided to play heads down, thumbs up, so... It was a good day. I cannot complain at all. Um, next week is back to normal. Next week is O through S. O is orange day. So we're supposed to be wearing orange. Hopefully I can remember to wear orange. Um, Tuesday is pajama day. Wednesday is quiz day slash quiet day. So they're gonna take a Kahoot quiz on yours truly. Thursday is rainbow day. So they're supposed to wear as many colors as possible. And then Friday is S, which is Silly Socks and Scavenger Hunt. So we're going to have a class scavenger hunt. So we'll see how next week goes. Until then, Teacher Tribe, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see more of or give me any feedback that you may have for me. And I'll see you next week. Bye, Teacher Tribe.